When it comes to buying the right products, there's a lot to look out for. That's why today, we've picked and reviewed the five best models for you. And we've ranked them by many different factors, such as price, quality, durability, performance, and more. You can see their prices and find out more information by using the links in the description down below. Let's not waste any more time and get started with the video. We are going to start this list with the best budget option that you can get your hands on. Number 5. Acer Aspire 5 Slim the Acer Aspire 5 is a mid-range laptop that ticks pretty much all the boxes you'd want for a day-to-day -day laptop. It performs most tasks well, plays media fine, and has a very good battery life, all for a compelling price. The design of the Acer Aspire 5 is what you'd probably expect from a mid-range laptop. Nothing too flashy, and not as felt as Ultrabox such as the Dell XPS 13 or the Asus ZenBook 3. However, that doesn't mean that this is a chunky, ugly laptop. With dimensions of 2.16 x 38.16 x 26.3 cm and a weight of 2.2 kg or 4.85 pounds, the Acer Aspire 5 is quite a large laptop, but it's not too heavy or unwieldy to carry around. The bottom half of the laptop, where the large keyboard and touchpad sit again, has a plastic surface, but it has a brushed finish that, while not as premium as aluminium, is still quite pleasant. It didn't take too long to pick up fingerprints, however. The Solid State Drive, or SSD, keeps Windows 10 feeling pretty fast, while the 8GB of RAM and quad-core Intel Core i7-8550U processor help with multitasking. For general Windows desktop applications, the Aspire 5 does a fine job. It doesn't feel quite as nippy as more expensive laptops, but for regular use, it's absolutely fine. Battery life was pretty impressive, with the Acer Aspire 5 lasting 6 hours and 48 minutes using the PC Mark 8 battery test, which replicates medium to heavy use. If you dim the display a bit, we had it set to full brightness, and keep to light web browsing and less strenuous tasks, you could eke out even longer life. The Acer Aspire 5 has a nice design and good build quality, apart from the slightly loose-feeling touchpad. The large range of ports is welcome and makes this a versatile laptop for using with a number of peripherals and battery life is very good. Next up, we have a model which gives you the best value for your money. Number 4. Acer Swift 3 The latest Acer Swift 3 is an excellent ultrabook for the masses made better thanks to its accessible price, thin and lightweight design and pretty decent battery life. When it comes to a budget laptop like the Acer Swift 3, it's hard to have high expectations, but that's exactly where this laptop has found itself at the start of the year. We've consistently reviewed it as one of our favourite Ultrabooks, and the 2020 model is no different. While the Dell XPS 13 might be one of the premier Ultrabooks, the Acer Swift 3 surprisingly doesn't lag too far behind either in terms of performance, and you can get it for less than half the price of the XPS 13. Acer continued its minimalist design aesthetic with this year's Acer Swift 3, definitely taking a cue from the Apple MacBook Air. The thin, lightweight aluminium chassis should feel familiar to anyone acquainted with earlier Acer Swift 3 models. The Swift 3 measures in at 12.6 x 8.5 x 0.6 inches and weighs 2.7 pounds, making the device incredibly portable without feeling flimsy. When it comes to playing video and general use, there's little to complain about with the Acer Swift 3. Running the notoriously resource-hogging Google Chrome with two dozen tabs open was handled smoothly by Swift 3, even when one of those tabs was playing through a Unimi course and another had an active Slack channel going. Meanwhile, the Swift 3 handled multimedia content creation pretty well for a system with 8GB of RAM. Loading up Photoshop and doing basic photo editing with a dozen or so open files was pretty smooth without any hang-ups. Our battery test, where we loop a 1080p video, ran for 7 hours and 6 minutes, about the same as older models of the Swift 3. But on the PC Mark 10 battery test, the Swift 3 ran for 6 hours and 12 minutes on performance mode with a balanced power profile and made it a full 8 hours on a modest battery saver mode and balanced power profile. The compact dimensions and lightweight of the Acer Swift 3 make it one of the most portable laptops out there right now making it perfect for students running back and forth around campus or for freelance professionals on the go. This next model is the best option for gaming, and I think that this would be a great fit for any type of gamer. Number 3. Acer Predator Helios 300 
With its overclockable graphics chip and 144Hz display, the Helios 300 is built for a great gaming experience, all at a reasonable price. If you're looking for a laptop that over-delivers for the money, Ace is usually a good place to start, and the turbo button is only one of the reasons to consider this model, although there are a couple of reasons to keep looking too. Storage complaint aside, the Helios 300's performance is impressive for its price. It can reach more than 60 frames per second on current titles, with quality settings on high and the laptop's native 1920x1080 pixel resolution. Games like Need for Speed Heat, Battlefield V and Far Cry 5 looked great and played without any slowdowns. With an older title like Titanfall 2, I was able to max out the graphic settings and still hit 144fps. And yes, playing Fortnite at the game's epic graphics level wasn't a problem either. The system's high performance doesn't result in great battery life, though. On our streaming video test, it made it only 4 hours 37 minutes. That's typical for a gaming laptop, though, so don't be fooled by this model's thin chassis and 5 pound weight. It's not ideal if you need to keep working away from an outlet for long periods. The laptop's full HD display has a fast 144Hz refresh rate as well, which help make action look smoother compared to competitors I've tested with 60Hz displays, which are more typical on gaming laptops under $1,000. Separately, including 512GB of storage on a gaming laptop feels rather stingy, so we would recommend choosing the 1TB option if possible. Otherwise, you may find yourself quickly needing to add a second drive, especially with some games now requiring over 100GB of space. The Acer Predator Helios 300 is a modern gaming laptop with amazing gaming performance. If quality is your main focus, then you should consider this next model, because it has the best build quality. Number 2. Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon The ThinkPad X1 Carbon is one of the most established laptops around, and this year's model marks the seventh iteration of the series. Just like every one before it, this X1 Carbon is thinner and lighter than ever. What else is new? Well, there's a brighter UHD display with HDR400 support, a better sound system, more far-field microphones, plus the usual processor and performance upgrades. Oh, and there's an optional carbon fibre weave pattern for those bored with a plain black lid. As always, the ThinkPad X1 Carbon is a strong business laptop that delivers an excellent keyboard and good performance in an elegant body. A handy webcam shutter and a sharper, more colourful display than its predecessors keep this 7th generation model relevant in today's competitive PC market. Bear in mind though that the higher res screen comes at the expense of battery life, and audio continues to be an issue for the series. 14-inch laptop may have a no-nonsense business-only aesthetic, but it feels more luxurious than its exterior lets on. So far, the X1 Carbon and its 8th generation Intel Core i7 processor have managed to handle my daily workload without a hiccup. More taxing tasks like editing videos or spreadsheets went smoothly. Despite a smattering of small complaints, the ThinkPad X1 Carbon is still a strong business laptop that will appeal to its die-hard fans. On our battery test, the lower res Full HD X1 Carbon lasted 14 hours, which is twice as long as the 7 hours clocked by my UHD version on the same test. The build quality, keyboard performance and battery life are all great, at least if you don't mind passing on the UHD screen. Finally, the next model is the best overall. From us, it gets a perfect score in all categories. And number one, it's the Asus ROG Zephyrus G14. Asus has built a reputation of being a reliable and a solid competitor in the PC gaming market. Not just hardware, but the company offers a very strong portfolio of gaming desktops and notebooks in India. Earlier this year, the company dropped the ROG Zephyrus G14, and I only noticed the machine due to some really positive reviews all around the global markets. Right out of the box, the machine gives off this compact feel. It isn't super slim, like an Ultrabook or anything, but it is still very sleek. My excitement grew as I saw a really well-made sleeve for the notebook bundled in the box. Now, this notebook is premium, and it's not just the looks. You can feel the materials are premium, even though there's use of plastic on the lid. The Zephyrus G14 takes aesthetics seriously, and it clearly shows. You won't find any flashy RGB lighting or ROG branding apart from a sleek metal plate on the bottom corner of the lid. The inner deck is also clean with just regular white backlighting and dedicated keys for volume, mic control and the Asus Armoury Crate software. Asus is offering two display options, both of which come in an anti-glare matte finish, 100% sRGB, Pantone validation and adaptive sync. The unit I got was the WQHD 2560x1440 panel with 60Hz refresh rate. There's also an option for a full HD 1920x1080 panel with 120Hz refresh rate. 
Now, the display is not of a very high quality. In fact, Asus calls it IPS level instead of a proper IPS panel. However, colors look good, and I was pretty satisfied with the viewing angles. This one is packed with the AMD Ryzen 4900HS octa-core processor that's clocked at 3GHz with boost speeds of up to 4.3GHz. Along with that, there's 16GB of DDR4-3200 RAM and 1TB of PCIe M.2 SSD. As for graphics, the machine came with the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 Max-Q GPU with 6GB of VRAM. I also think the implementation of the speakers is nicely done. Zephyrus G14 is clearly a solid product from Asus, and it really is one of the best laptops in the market, without a doubt. Buying Guide Firstly, Processor Starting with a processor for the casual laptop user, a current gen i3 processor is more than enough if all you need it for is casual browsing, viewing videos and running light software. If you're a student, maybe, and are hoping to play a few games possibly, then an Intel Core i5 processor or above will comfortably let you play games and work with more intensive software. Core i7 and i9 processors are top of the line and offer the best performance, but they come with a price tag to match. Go for these only if you know you have CPU-intensive software or want the best gaming performance. Secondly, graphics card. Next, you look at the graphics card or GPU. If you're a casual user, then you needn't consider this and make do with an integrated GPU. However, if you plan on playing games or using rendering software, you'll need a discrete graphics card. To comfortably play most games at reasonable frames, we recommend going for a laptop that has at least an NVIDIA GTX 1650 Ti. To experience AAA games in all their glory, you'll need an NVIDIA RTX 2070 or higher. The RTX 2060 is a decent middle ground if you can't spend too much but still want good graphics, at least on Full HD displays. And thirdly, display. When you're going to spend the next few years looking at the screen, a small unattractive show is sure something you're not looking for. Go for a laptop with thin bezels and a minimum display screen of 13 inches so you get a clear view as well as excellent clarity. While this is entirely a personal choice, choose a laptop with a widescreen HD display. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.